Ai, kia ora nō tātou. Kā tahi anō a tā Paola Reeves, kāwana tianara Māori tuatahi ka poroporo aki ti atu, kua whakawahi a tonu ti ake te tuarua. Ko tēnei mahi hōu a tā Jerry Matepārai, he tawhiti rawa atu i te horopaki i tupu ake ai ia i roto o Whanganui. Nā kāli hemopo i rakorako ake ngā kōrero mōna. From Castle Cliff, Whanganui, to this castle in Wellington, this week, Government House is new resident, the Matepārai Wano. How are your new digs? Very different from 10 Egmont Street. Very different from 10 Egmont Street. I mean, I think 10 Egmont Street would fit into the ballroom and, um, and the conservatory. Yeah, <laughs> very different. It was only a few weeks ago we bid farewell to New Zealand's first Māori Governor-General, Sir Paul Reeves. This week, we welcome the second. I had the really neat... Um, opportunity in, at the end of June to have dinner with uh, Tā Paura and, and Lady Beverly, and he was neat. I mean, and, and um, you know, God bless him and may he rest in peace. Um, but he was explaining you know, the, the, the implications of the role for him and what he thought might be for me. Um, but I value you know, that, that corridor. Um, Absolutely. So he gave you some yeah. advice? He did. Would you like to share that with us? No. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> advice that, you know, it's, it's special for you know, him, him and me, and you know, he said some things which are special for me. And he, in turn, is very special to his wānau, in the quiet settlement of Ratana Pa, is a quarter acre block that belongs to the Matepārai wānau. We had no gifts to give Jeremiah, so I uh, decided to. Um, so let's come and get the harakeke for him because it comes from Tini. This harakeke was brought here over 20 years ago from Wanganui by Jerry's father. And uh, the harakeke comes from Ten Egmont Street where Jeremiah lived with his parents. The whenua is the land that belongs to the Matapara Fauna. Even though it's been transported from Tegan, Egmont Street to here, they're still here in the Harakeke because Harakeke is living and their memories are in here. All aboard the Whanganui Express. Kaikura is stoked to have been asked to take part in the ceremony tomorrow. Stoked, of course, for many reasons. Hi, people. It's a personal journey for me because my husband was a personal friend. We were in the same shooting game. And I can remember him saying, uh, there must be a better life than this. I never saw him again. Pipitea Marae will host the Whanganui contingent tonight. Most of the ones, the older ones who are here, would have known Jerry's mum and dad. Some of them are related to them, of course, on their Tuhare Toa side. But, of course, many of them here are Morehu as well. And his dad was an Aporturo in the church. So all of those memories bring them here to Tautoko, him tomorrow. It's quite a proud moment uh, for Te Tai Oaru, isn't it? Oh, it's a very proud moment. I mean, it's only the second time in the history of our country that we've had a Māori become the Governor-General, both of them from Te Tai Oaru, I have to say. Um, so you know, it is, it is a very proud moment for us to be able to honour the Tūranga. But first things first. because everyone knows practice makes perfect. And by the morning, a song had been specially composed for the occasion. No reina, ta matau, ko ngā rārangi kōrero e mi'i ake anō ki ai, ko a wero ia e te mūra o te ai. I, Jeremiah Matapara, I swear that 
I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, heirs and successors according to law. So help me God. A proud and unforgettable day for Sajiri's Wano, from the stately ceremony right down to the attire. <laughs> It was a real eye-opener, because we used to porphyry and uh, all that kind of thing, but uh, uh, all this, um, uh, the ceremony and so on from the, I suppose the Pākehā world is quite new to me, yes. So that was very interesting, but very impressive as well. So Jerry's sister was adamant the appearance would still be a part of the special day. When we go on to Parliament, my brother doesn't know yet that I do have this painting of Mum and Dad. This is our mother, Rangi Tūno, and this is our father, Rangi Fauru. And these are our parents that brought us up. Uh, I couldn't take the photographs on because they're just too big and bulky, so this is my way of being able to take Mum and Dad on physically. Even in his new digs, symbols of his roots are never too far. So in the conservatory, what are the things that was really neat about yesterday? After the ceremony, you know, we had five teenage boys out on the front lawn playing rugby. Uh, so that was a, was a special moment. And, and of course there's the, the three harder kick it. Nanny June mm. put that together and brought down here. Um, gave to me on Tuesday evening with a little story um, and because they're cuttings from uh, the harakeke at, at home um, which you know, I used to have to mow around uh, so yeah she's got some nice stories about it but I've got some other stories. <laughs> so. Mum and Dad I mean they, they planted it and you know, they, they did you know, they, they were used for, for weaving and so on so yeah, they were special ones uh, and people used to come you know, to collect some do you have any raranga skills? No. <laughs> if I just reflect on you know, the, the advice that my five predecessors gave me, it was, you know, enjoy every moment because every moment will be special, every moment will be different. Uh, there will be things that, you know, even towards the end you will think, you know, you've experienced it and it may well be one of those familiar trips that you're taking and then something will happen and you'll say, wow. I didn't expect that, and it's still very much well. I didn't expect you know, a lot of what's going on. Me a mato mihi maioha tu ki a ta Jerry Arawa ko kahurangi Janine e mangari ai te arahoki mui i Arawa i roto i te fare o te kawana tianara.